time for a bit of nose bag with Thomas Edward. Didn't see there, it's me, Thomas Edward, also known as TE, and welcome to my unread showbiz book collection. So, uh, for, the, for you who don't know uh, about Thomas Edward, I love reading entertainment books. Anyone, anyone, I know, anyone, I like reading about people, but that's that's beside the point. Anything in entertainment. So, as you see here, I've got, uh, I think I've got about over over 26 books behind me it's quite a lot but i have read a couple and i'll show you in a minute so as you can see on my shelf I, I do have a clock what i got from a a bin from round the back of a charity shop uh, somewhere. Can't remember where I got it from, but it was in a bin around the back of a charity shop where they chucked out. You can't quite see, there you go. I need to get uh, that flicks out and it needs uh, a battery going in. Put that down there. Uh, and then I've got this long, long length of a thing here, what is a adjustable uh, back arm off a, a BMW E36. What Chris Park, a good friend, uh, gave me, and it's a uh, he said, put that in your room, there's a bit of wall art. So I did, so it's on my shelf. So that's a, another thing. And then, over here, I've got a wooden ladder, what I don't know what to do with, but I put it on there, because I thought Piers Morgan might want to climb down it. So there you go, and we'll get rid of that. So on my book collection, we're well, going to start up here, actually. I've just finished reading Sheila Hancock, uh, what's been a, a great book. It's brand new, that. It's only just come out this year. Uh, I've just finished reading that, and now my T's mum is reading that now. And I'm currently reading Burt Reynolds, and apart from, I didn't know much about him apart from Smoking the Bandit. And now... I've actually known loads about him and he's actually a good read and that's from uh, Lancaster Library. I've, uh, I've nearly finished that, you can see my bookmark there. Look, look, I've not got many pages left on that, so that's good. Now, before I started reading that and before I started reading that, I was currently halfway through the middle of Lulu, no, actually Billy Connolly. Then I started reading Lulu, so I ended up reading those two books on uh, together. You can see there's some bookmarks in there. It's actually a bookmark, and uh, Tony Robinson, I read a tiny bit of that on the way home somewhere. So as you can see, I, I can I can read about one, two, three, four books on the go, but I'm actually, I, I broke it down a bit and I decided to read all that, then move on to that because they were both library books. And that's from Grange Library, and that's from Lancaster Library, uh, and then these two have actually bought... You know, everything on there I've actually bought, they're the only library books. Uh, so what we got here, we've got Lulu, we've got Billy Conley, Tony Robinson, Michael Caine, that's his new book, I've read his old one, what's on my shelf behind me. Barbara Windsor, Shirley Bassett, Cliff Richard, I've read a tiny bit of that when I was ill. Uh, Markham Wise books in there, another Billy Conley, he's on his, his Route 66, there's Rod. Um, David Essex, Jerry Paxman. Graham Norton, I read a tiny bit of that when I bought it. That's the one, um, Timothy Spoils, I think his wife wrote that. Sir James, Roy Chubby Brown, Ronnie Corbett, that's, that's the Stig. Then a man in a white suit. 
uh, Ben Collins, Rick Sykes, Alan Sugar, look how wide that is, it's going to take me ages to read that once I get onto it. Johnny Vegas, Terry Wogan, uh, Jim Davison, a lot, Sid Little, Piers Morgan, that was bought as a joke. And then, oh yes, Sammy Davis Jr, that one is. And then this one is uh, my uh, British interior house styles that my cameraman got me for my birthday. It's quite interesting that, reading about, I like reading about the Tudor period. And then up here, I've got a book about Cartmel, that's down the road. I've got a, another famous YouTube celebrity, Colin Fuzz, who does uh, mad wacky things, and that's his book. I found that in a charity shop in Milnthorpe. Got Sean Connery there, Roger Daltrey above, uh, and that, that's all my books on there. And you can see I've got a, a good section, and this shelf was donated by Tease Mam. It, it, it looks bent, but it's not, it, it's not the weight of the books, it's actually the wood's actually bent. It's Mum had it stored on its end, and it's sort of bent. And she got this, and she was meant to put something on it and said, Oh, no, you have it. But actually, on this bit of wall here, I want to get another one. These are from Home Base, and put all my camera equipment so that'll be there above my bed. And then I'll have my books next to you. That's, what's, that's the plan anyway. So that's what I'm going to do. Uh, but I'm going to actually go and show you some other things uh, downstairs. So here's me, uh, me toolbox. I thought I'd show you some uh, tools I've bought recently. So you've probably seen this before a long time ago. If you haven't, go back and watch it when I did my toolbox tour. It's a, it's a bit of a mess at the moment. Uh, I, this is quite a new tool. This, uh, this draper. It's a, a folding tool. See like that? I actually bought this for my dad and ended up liking it and then buying my dad another one and I kept this one. So that's a new tool. The rest isn't new and it's a bit of a mess because I was working on something new a day. But in this drawer here, middle drawer, I have some new tools. So I, I, I've got an obsession with snap-on. I've got some snap-on sockets there, a snap-on toolbox. And I have in here, some of you might have seen before I have a tiny little quarter drive uh, snap-on ratchet but I wanted another one I wanted a slightly longer one and I wanted uh, the 80 tooth version so for my birthday my dad got me this one what I was going to buy but decided it was uh, a one to not need so I decided when it would be birthday I said oh dad can have that so he got is this one look it's proper let me see if I can click it near me microphone it's dead fine Oh, it's good, it's good sound that. So that's my new uh, beauty. And then after I bought, after my dad had given me that for my birthday, I went out and bought a six inch snapping extension because you can't have a snap on ratchet um, connected to a cheap extension going into a snap on socket. You need it, you need the right tool for the right job. So I went and bought some hard, quality hard, uh, hardcore gear there. So that's, this thing's quite a lot of money between those three things though, it's a bit mad, a bit scary at the same time. Uh, and that's about it there, that's all I've, I've got. And I found the other day, uh, it's in here, I have to find it now, don't know where it is. Uh, there, that's a 10, 10 and 11 mil ring spanner, I didn't know I owned this. I went and told my cameraman, go and get one at a 10 mil at my toolbox. And he came back with this and I was like, I don't own that, that's not mine. And obviously it is. It was in my toolbox and didn't even know he owned it. So there you go. So I have that snap-on, that snap-on. It's got two snap-on, that's a funny, look, funny size. It's one of those funny size spanners. It's a, it's a 15, it's quite not really a common size. But anyway, I've still got it. That, my good friend Sam Morris gave me that for birthday last year. So I've got that, that snap-on, two ratchets, an extension, and a set of shallow sockets, and a snap-on toolbox. So there you go, that's a, that's a T tool, tool. Oh, there's the uh, famous railway seat. I'm actually going to show you a clip of a video now showing uh, what's been going on behind the scenes on Patreon of uh, something I unveiled on this uh, very seat here. Oh, I didn't see that Patreon, it's T here, Thomas Edward, and uh, look, look what's arrived in three uh, lovely uh, packages. And they all say uh, T merch on the front, so I think the t shirts have arrived. You've, you've all got so, in the first one, we've got. Oh, wow, that's pretty good. We've got time for a better nose bag 
with Thomas Edward. So I know where uh, I know where uh, Paul Osborne, who designed all the TE merch, actually asked for one of these. So and also the cameraman asked for one of these. So we'll be getting one of these as well. So there you go. That's uh, time for a bit of mold well. with T Thomas Edward. Look at that horse. That rat smoker feels like good quality. It's a uh, rock in America. That. So yeah, there you go. So we got. We've got two of them. So this one, this is, uh, I think three people asked for this one. I can't remember off the top of, top of the list who it was now, but we've got uh, what everyone loves, a bit of ding. There you go, someone will be wearing that soon, going around, some people thinking, why has he got ding on his chest? And that, and, but it's uh, not Thomas Edward YouTube. So they'll get a few, we'll get a few subscribers out of people uh, wearing that. I oh, know, and you, you lot on Patreon walking around with that on. And I believe the bit of nose bag one with the horse, and I, f I believe Osborne's gonna, well, Paul Osborne, and we've got, we've got three of them, is gonna go into his local takeaway with it on, a bit of time for a bit of nose bag with his horse on. We have, didn't see you there. There you go, with me flat cap on, not? Yeah, pretty good, isn't it? Didn't see you there. Uh, I think, I think, uh, I think Alfred, uh, Ordered one of the one ordered asked for one of them. Ding! Is uh, an E36 light I'm giving to my friend Chris Park. It's uh, this is a uh, post. Uh, this is about middle '94. Well, it's, you can say post 1994 BMW E36 light because it's got the bubbles along the top of the glass, and it's got two bolt holes to bolt into the uh, slam panel. These bits here, and it's a proper Bosch unit because his he's got a crack in here, and I said, oh, I've got one in storage. You can have. Because he's giving us plenty of stuff, and I said, "Oh, we could just have this." So he's gonna, he's gonna get that. It's gonna go on his three one eight IS. That is nice lamp. Actually, our cars. Olivia doesn't have bubbles, but she has two prongs because she's early ninety four. And then another refix you haven't seen is very early, and it's got three of these mounted bolts. One in the middle there, so it's got three, uh, and no bubbles. Really early lamp. So this is it here. Is a is a lamp. I found, well, I got it off someone the other day. And he sort of gave me as a payment I did for him. And it's, uh, I was like, oh, that looks cool. And it was hung in their garage. I said, I can have that. So we've got it. And it's been painted a slightly different colour. And someone's done a yellow handle on top. But what it is, and what I can work out it is, it's a semaphore lamp. Or my cameraman reckons it's a ground frame lamp. So we don't know. If you, if you know what this lamp is, comment below. Nice, it needs a bit of a refurb and get it running again. It's a nice lamp, so I just have that hanging around in my room at the moment. So on my uh, hat follow video, I had a, a pouch I was carrying around with me. And it was this, this uh, Van Quest uh, tough built gear. It'll be a little old light patch on. And what's in it, I'll show you that one in a minute actually. What's in it is um, many things I need when I'm on the road with TE and the, and the family. So I've got like... Sharpie, O-Lite, glue, a little screwdriver, a rocket lighter. That is a little USB, what you can plug in the wall on the road so no one can uh, cyber hack your phone. Some uh, 550 power cord, uh, an iPad charger, lightning, or you can fit it in the, uh, the older version of iPhones. That's a lightning to USB, little screwdriver, a little Leatherman, what's uh, got it's uh, not pliers, it's scissors and a little knife and a, a file. Um, a Swiss Army knife, uh, knife sharpener. And then I've got a magnet here and I've got some lip balm there. And behind it, I've got like whole bags of like tea bags, sugar, salt, uh, one of those emergency blankets, a space blanket, and plasters. Uh, so that's what I carry with me. It's fully, it's, it's kind of waterproof, but it's, uh, I carry it around with me on a, an all-night lanyard. 
it's pretty cool. And then this one, this is a kit I've made recently. I like everything with like little bags and stuff. I like little cubby holes and stuff and making stuff like this. This is a canvas uh, um, pencil case or makeup bag. And in here, and I got one with the yellow zip because I like bright colours. This is my um, EDC tool kit, what I chuck in my orange high-vis pulsar bag when I'm on the road. And I've got, look, I've got a full, I think it's, uh, I think it's probably smaller, this is 4 mil to 13 mil draper's little um, sockets. And I've got a draper quarter drive ratchet. What happened was, I've had this in my toolbox, the donks. This was bought from a, a car shop in Whitehaven, what isn't there anymore, it's knocked down. Uh, my dad got it me and I said, oh I want that, and it was, I was about 10. But I never realised back then, oh, I need sockets going on with it. So it's been legging around in my box for years. And I was like, oh, I could use it in my uh, EDC toolkit. So I thought, me being OCD and slightly autistic, I thought I'd uh, match it up with uh, some Draper sockets. I couldn't have non-Draper sockets with, with a Draper ratchet. So I've got them, and then I've got a Diddy extension. And what this is for... I have this little screwdriver. Now I bought this, and, oh that's dead dinky that is, that, oh, I'll get me, uh, me uh, little screw bits in there, and a bit set, and um, I'll just focus that in. Thought it'd be, oh really good, I got it, and it's the, the, it's the extra mini bit set, what you, you take computers apart with. So I went in Aldi and got a bit set that was in there, and you got this in it, and so I've got double extension, and then, and then oh yeah, by the way, that's a, that's a Draper, uh, I think it's like a four inch extension for my Draper ratchet and, uh, and sockets. And then in here, this little case, what my mum gave me, is if I can get it open, is full of all the little bits, get one out here, all the little bits, what go in here. Hey, this is like, this is like uh, Last Best Tools uh, channel review with Doc. What, I, I've got one of my Patreons, uh, Johnny Addicted to watching. He, uh, he does a similar stuff like this. He gets his tools out on, the, on a, a cabinet like this, or a table, and he talks about different cool little tools he buys and how useful they are, and he, he compares them against other tools. So he'd have, if he was doing this little, nice little uh, screwdriver bits in, he'd have a load of his like snap-on stuff in the background, what he'd compare it to. So there you go, that's TE's on the road toolkit. And sometimes some cars don't have toolkits on the fleet. And I take this with me because I know, at least I know with this, I can pretty much take apart everything on an MGZR. That's, that's, that's how basic an MGZR is. And there you go, and that, that goes in there, and then that lives in my uh, Pulsar bag. And then that goes next to it. What's got a few extra bits, what I might need. And then I always carry anyway on myself. In my jeans, I always carry a, a old i5, an i5T with a double A battery in. I always carry a Olight S2R Mark II, what's rechargeable, it's got the magnetic bottom. That's actually going a bit duff, the battery's a bit duff in it, I need to buy a new battery for it, it was a bit annoying. And that's a pouch what I put that torch in, because these clips are naff. And, uh, you put that on it, it makes the clip a bit better. T's man made that. Uh, also, another T man creation is this little um, denim pouch. What keeps my very uh, handy and uh, I won't be, I'll be lost without it. Uh, Swiss Army Explorer. I bought this brand new in 2018, April 2018, and I bought it. I don't really like Swiss Army now because. Because you only, you only ever get like for the lower ones, the, the, the lower scale ones, this is like a, a lot fatter one. The, uh, the, sm the small ones are only like half that size. You only get like a knife and a flat screwdriver, but I bought this because I wanted a Phillips on it. And that Phillips is genius. I've took screws out of that, but some bigger screwdrivers have struggled, like doing uh, going in scrap yards and taking fog lights off MGZRs and Rover 45s and MGZS is that, of that like. So that's really good and it's also got, I thought it'd be a handy at the time, I never really used it. The Explorer, it's got a, a magnifying glass. And then and then what I got hanging off it was just like a little bead, what my mum gave me, and a bit of string. And this is the most handy tool in the, in the, uh, in the, in the kit. This is a, a Spamcam uh, 
tin opener, uh, not tin opener, tin opener, it's actually on the tin and you, you, you wind it back, don't you? And this is to get in, getting a free trolley in Audi. So there you go. And that actually, that came from uh, the staff actually using the same trick. And they got a Fisher Space Pen, what I've recently put a new ink cartridge in. And they've also got a Sharpie and a spanner, a 10 mil flat spanner, what came up with those IKEA kits, a pencil, and I've got a screw in there, but I don't know why I've got a screw in there. So there you go. That's all my little uh, stuff I keep in my pockets on the road. I carry, a, you know, so at any one time, I've pretty much got a light when it's dark, a knife, a screwdriver, a pen, spanners, sockets, ratchets, screwdrivers, more screwdrivers, a bit of adapters, um, and that's about it. And also I carry me, uh, me wallet that has camo trophy on. What's the ultimate, the ultimate adventure? Uh, and there you go. That's everything I carry on me. Sometimes I carry, um, oh, Terralai, when I put in, if it's wet raining or if I need a coat or whatever, in my coat I have a Olight H1R uh, rechargeable head torch and a Leatherman Wave, what I've took all the knives out of it. It's just pretty much pliers, but I, sometimes pliers are really handy. There you go, that is my uh, everyday life and Thomas Edward and I'll show you all my things what uh, make my uh, world tick from tools and books and, and car bits. So if, uh, if you've enjoyed uh, today's little uh, update, today, to be honest this is uh, an update because I'm slightly behind on editing uh, videos such as Canforth Shed uh, and how I got to Birmingham under £20 and picking up my uh, T's mum's new car. Uh, so I'm a bit behind, so I thought I'd do a, an update of uh, Little Mooch around the TE Towers to show you what's going on. Uh, so if you've enjoyed today's video, make sure to uh, give us a like, a subscribe, and uh, remember to click that big bell. Ding!